Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a unboxing slash review for a food subscription box called Munch Pack. So I went ahead and um, I took off the address and things like that so it's much easier to open. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Um, I was sent this box for free. And I have my glass of water in case I need to cleanse my palette and paper towel so I can um, get off little crumbs and things like that. So let's see what's in this yummy box. Here's the box. box. Let's see what's in it. Try to do it as quietly as possible. This comes with a little note that says This munch pack was made just for you by Joey So, thank you Joey Now, there's ways for you guys to win a free munch pack I'll tell you about that um, There are three ways You can do one of you recording your experience with your munch pack. Then there's two. You can upload pictures and videos to social media like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. And all you need to do is hashtag munch pack. Number three, you can tag your friend to automatically enter them for a chance to win. So it's pretty cool. They have Twitter. Instagram and YouTube. Uh, they've been around, I think, since 2013. You get a cover for your snacks. And basically, they sent you international snacks. Um, so some of these, I'm not going to quite know what they are because they don't give a description, but it's fun to try. So let's just get into it. Okay. So I have no idea what this is. It's not in English. It looks to be... There are many bagels. They look, um, it looks like it's in Hebrew, maybe? So I'm gonna cut these open, and we're gonna give them a taste. This is the classic flavor. And they're just little round mini bagels. Okay. It's 
stuck in my teeth. It tastes like a pretzel, but um, a bit more bready. Kind of like the Chex mix you get and you get the little bread pieces. That's what that tastes like. So the next thing they gave me in my box Again, I don't know what language this is, but it's a tomato flavored cracker. in the back and it's from fashion food company so it's an interesting name They just look like a little crisp, like a pita chip almost, or a crackling. Um, they're a bit red or orange. Tastes like um, tomato paste, like almost exactly like tomato paste, like tomato soup. It tastes like tomato soup. It's not. It's good. It's very different. Like straight tomato soup. <laughs> I also got. Trying to save like the hard candies and things like that for last because they're hard to eat. <laughs> I got Galip Banana. It's a bar of sorts. It looks like a chocolate covered banana. Um, let's see if I can, there's English on here. Let's see the glare. Maybe I can make it go. I have no idea what this is. Galip banana. Coco. Don't know. But we'll see. It just looks like a little chocolate banana shaped treat. I got a 
kinder country box milk and cereal I think is what it says because it's I mean, yeah, I think it says milk and cereal. So it looks like that. Just trying to get the, the light not on it. <laughs> so, milk and cereal Kinder Bar. This one, I think, is going to taste just like an American Crunch Bar. So, not my favorite candy, but I do like it. Oh, it's falling apart. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's not like Crunch Bar, though. The filling almost tastes like um like kettle corn, like popcorn or um yeah pop cereal, like corn pops. It tastes like corn pops. It's good. And there's something in this box that I've never had, but they're not super exotic. Um, a lot of people eat these now, but I'm excited. Oh, I'll tell you what they are in a minute. Um, next I got hot flavored peanuts from Sabritas. Just a little spicy peanut. They're not too spicy. It has like it written all over. Caliente and hot and like a flaming hot chili, but they have a little kick right at the beginning. It's very mild to me. The flavor, it tastes like something I've had. Like the seasoning. You know, there's garlic powder. Good old MSG. Um, I think there's paprika, maybe, garlic powder, paprika, natural flavors, that's my answer, I guess, I can't see, because the way it is, the seam is going directly down the, uh, the ingredients, one English. <laughs> I got oh wait more chocolate I love chocolate I got Euro cream bar milk and chocolate product with hazelnut if I can figure out the country product of Serbia so a Serbian kind of chocolate bar the lighting is horrible because it's night time it's actually pretty late but it's a Serbian Euro cream bar I love 
love to try new chocolate bars. Sorry. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. That's my favorite one. So yummy. Mmm. I would get that. Like a box of that. It tastes just like Nutella. I love it. Mmm. It's pretty rich. So I probably eat on it like bit by bit. Because it's kind of a lot, but it's really, really good. Next, the smallest treat, but they say good things come in small packages. A bottle, a bottle, a bag of garlic, green peas. I mean, no, I should like this. They're from, I don't know. I'm gonna, I think it's an Asian country, but that's very broad. So let's just get to the part that I know the eating. Can't sneak these at night, be too loud. <laughs> so I'll get one. are so good. Oh my god. This is amazing. Mm. And one of life's cruel jokes. So it's the smallest pack in that whole box. Garlic green pea. This is so good, you guys. It's so, so good. I want more. Next. Mm -hmm. Let me cleanse my palate. That was delicious. I got... <laughs> what a lady picking her teeth. I got Zapp's potato chips. New Orleans kettle style. Cajun dill gator taters. chips. Funky. They will smell up the room. Oh, look at small taste chip. <laughs> oh, my recorder is trying to restart. It's like dill pickle chip, but like kettle style, it's a bit harder than a potato chip, it has more of a bite. I think I've actually had those, maybe not that flavor, but I think I've had that brand because I've been to New Orleans a couple of times. Of course, I was underage, but now I need to go back because I can do all the fun stuff. So, this was the product I was talking about that everyone, it's like a craze, and everyone does like them. They're pocky. This is the matcha green tea cream 
covered biscuit sticks. I never had a Pocky. I see them all the time at stores now. Um, I guess it never caught my eye. Um, I know a lot of people like them. But, um, I usually see them at Asian markets, and I usually I pass them up because I, I run straight to the shrimp chips. So inside the box. Inside the package, they're just kind of in there, and I guess you just eat it. So let's see. I like the green tea cream. part itself doesn't taste like anything but those are really good they taste just like matcha so matcha 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 gotta stay hydrated The last two candies, I think, are hard candies. There's some kind of caramel in this one. That's all I can really figure out. They're little individually wrapped caramel treats. It's not a hard candy. It's like a It's like a It's almost like, um, it tastes like caramel, but the texture, it's like a, like divinity. It's like exactly like divinity. That's what it tastes like. Um, I don't know if other regions eat divinity. You live in the south, you know what divinity is. The last treat are called jelly and roots. They're from Pakistan. They feel like a gummy candy.
which I'm not a huge gummy eater. Um, when I like sweet things, I like chocolate. And if it's not chocolate or actual desserts, I like salty. Yeah. There are things in the candy that are unidentifiable. Yeah. Unidentifiable. And they're shaped like fish. I don't know what's in it though. really weird. I think it's supposed to be pear flavored. It has like a very floral taste. I don't know what it, it tastes like. It tastes like Kirkland's. It tastes like the store Kirkland smells. I'm sticking all in my teeth. That was interesting. I'd say this is one of the better array of snacks I've gotten in like these kind of boxes. I believe they do different sizes too. Those garlic peas. Oh my god. I'm gonna make sweet love to those tonight. So if you're interested, uh, check out Munch Pack. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you next time guys. Have a good night.